Welcome back to eBuyer. We've unboxed it and now we're here to see how it performs. The Razer Blade 18 Intel Core i9 40 series laptops and I'm so excited to see how it performs. So let's just get into it. First thing I want to go over is the Razer Synap software which comes with all your Razer Blades. And basically it's a software that controls your peripherals so you'll be able to control the colour of your mouse, your keyboard, anything like that. You can also rebind your keys if you wanted to um, if you had specific ways of playing different games. Um, we'll firstly change our WASD card by holding Control, we can click all them, WASD, we'll change the enter as well. We'll change them to a nice red. We'll save that. And you can change any key you wanted into any color you wanted, but you can also just change them all into, let's go back to razor green. There you are. Now we'll look at the performance section of the synapse where you can change to gaming mode if you wanted to um, remove the alt tab function or anything like that. You can also go to performance and go to fans and you can change the fan mode if you wanted a balanced one, uh, make it more silent. Or if you wanted to do a custom one where you can change the uh, fan power on your CPU and your GPU. So we'll change the CPU to boost and we'll keep the GPU for high for this video. Before we put the RTX 4080 through its paces with some games, let's test the raw CPU performance power with 24 cores and 32 threads. We're going to use Cinebench for this one where we're going to test a single core thread and then the multi-core performance and we'll get some scores and see how it does. We're also going to be monitoring the temperatures with the hardware info. So let's just reset the temperature clock and then we're going to look at that afterwards. So we've just finished the single core test and as we can see it reached 100 degrees for a brief second before coming back down. The fans kicked in and it went back to a nice safe temp. And we'll just start the multi-core thread one now. It should go a lot faster because it's using all 32 threads. During the multi-core test, we can see that it reached 74 degrees, but obviously it didn't need to throttle it, didn't need to turn the fans on. It stayed as a nice, reasonable temperature. The Blade 18 comes equipped with a one terabyte SSD, but to see how fast it truly is, we're going to run it through Crystal Disk Mark real fast and just see what the scores are. So the hard drive test is just finished. And as we can see, it's got 6,700 megabytes per second of read speed and almost 5,000 megabytes per second of writing speed, which is pretty fast for a solid state drive. So we're just going to play Warzone on high to see what kind of FPS we can get. Um, let's jump straight into it. Don't need to set up my classes. And now we wait for 10 years to find the game on the middle of the day on a Wednesday. All right, well, what would that? I'm not, all right, let me recompose. <laughs> so as we're dropping in, we can see the uh, frames are over 100 for FPS, which is really good for high on Call of Duty. And uh, the fans are kicking in, you can kind of hear them, but that's fine. And especially because it's obviously cool temperature, like it's not hurting my fingers or burning my fingers or anything like that. It's not really I physically can't see, all right? It's at an angle, that's my excuse. Oh, there's Gulag as well, aren't they? All right. Well, we're hitting over 120 fret FPS at 2K resolution on high on Call of Duty, so I think that's good, even if I am dead. So even in, inside and outside, hitting over 100 is still pretty, really good. We're still at a great temperature, still over 100 FPS. I'm even reaching up to 150 when we ju first jumped in. So overall, it's pretty good. So I think we should move on to like Fortnite or something like CSGO. So we're playing some CSGO now. Um, we're hitting over 190 FPS consistently and uh, sometimes, again, 250 when we're inside. So it really doesn't struggle with performance at all. It's really a, uh, sorry, I'm just getting, uh, just getting headshots, running headshots like it's nothing. It's really hard to play this way. I'm gonna be real. Um, Bot Larry killed me and um, I will never live that down. <laughs> so yeah, let's head on over to Fortnite and see if we can, uh, see what we can get. All right, so we've jumped into Fortnite. We're at 2K, uh, running it at 2K at all high settings. So we're gonna jump into a game and see what kind of FPS we can get. So we're dropping in now, we're averaging over 75 FPS. We'll see what we're like when we get down to the floor. So we can see it's running consistently over 100 FPS, which is really good considering we're running it at 2K on high settings. It's quite demanding for this machine, but obviously this machine is handling it very well. So let's um, head on over to Adobe and see what we can get in there. We're in Adobe Premiere right now. We've got the uh, unboxing video in here. We're just gonna play around with some settings, uh, see some editing and see how it performs overall. So firstly, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna change some of the curves, color editing. Ooh, ooh, tasty. It's uh, got really good color grading on the actual screen, on the uh, monitor itself. Mess around with it, play it around. Looks pretty dark now, but again, still sick color. We'll press enter and we'll see if it runs through. Got to modify the curves slightly to see how quickly it updates. And obviously it seems to be almost immediate and it looks super good color wise. That's quite, I'm quite impressed with how good the color looks because usually on most gaming laptops, the color's kind of like the secondary idea. Mainly it's like, you know, your fast refresh rates and minimal response time and stuff like that. So this looks really good. It's a really good laptop for creating overall. 
So after all these benchmarks, we can see that this is a beast of a machine. Great performance, great FPS, great color in the monitor and everything. And um, if you want to pick one up for yourself, hang on over to eBuy, there'll be a link in the description. And we'll also be doing a full review on the eBuyer blogs page. So be sure to check that out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.